Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We are on August 28th, 2020. We've got a different video for you here, looking at the Canadian Frigid and Frosty Farmer's Almanac. Long-term winter forecast just released. It says here, make sure to enjoy the last few remaining warm weeks of the year because the Old Farmer's Almanac has released its long-term range winter weather predictions for Canada. It's going to be frigid and frosty. As August comes to an end, it's 2021 long-range winter forecast, which is dubbed Winter of the Great Divide because of its unusual outlook, states a release. Now, I did see an article, but it is now gone in regards to the solar cycles. Almanac continues to say that it's anticipating cold and snowy conditions in the north, dry in the west, and everything crazy in between. The expectation will be in the Atlantic Canada and the prairies, which may feel some relief from winter's chill, but the rest of the country will see lots of rain, snow, bit of a snow train happening here with this winter 2021 forecast. Very cold and snowy upper Midwest. Eastern provinces of Canada expect a wintry mix for the Maritimes and the second week of February being possible strong winter storms. Ontario and Quebec, if you like snow, then you should head out to Western Quebec and Ontario where snowier than normal conditions are forecasted. As well, red flagged in Quebec as very snowy and wild. Western Canada looking west, expect above normal snow for the interior of British Columbia, Alberta and Saskatchewan. Much colder and normal winter temperatures much much colder than normal temperatures expected for Alberta and BC. Now something else I wanted to show you here was an interesting site here by NASA off the coast of Newfoundland. As we're already watching ice crystals form in the North Atlantic. I'm pretty sure that these are ice crystals. It has been clouded and very cold in the Northwest Atlantic. And these cold temperatures are invading us now. As we do have some snow in the forecast for Alberta and BC. And colder temperatures are already reaching the Yukon Northwest Territories. As very strong low pressure systems are coming from the North, mixing with the polar air. Now it's interesting, it's kind of blowing my mind that this is actually coming too. This is the end of August and our earliest snowfall that I've experienced here was on September 5th and that was back in 2013 or 2015. But we're expecting snow here in Jasper and as well Banff in higher elevations and minus two temperatures, freezing temperatures, higher elevations just west of Calgary expecting about 15 centimeters of snow in Jasper in the five day forecast. That's not including the 10 day forecast, but things are changing drastically across Canada. And the article that I was talking about earlier, it was mentioning solar cycle 25 and how this could drastically affect 2020 winter forecast and make it very cold and snowy all across the Northern Hemisphere. As we're already watching these cold, cold temperatures invade parts of Russia, Eastern Russia. Colder temperatures hanging around at higher elevations and they have been for a long time. So is that due to our collapsed magnetosphere? I do believe it is because colder temperatures aloft are now being pushed closer to the surface temperatures of our planet and mixing with the surface temperatures, creating highly charged storms, 
lightning strikes across the world, we truly are on the verge of a grand solar minimum, which means we could be dipped back into a mini ice age. Solar cycle 25, set to be long and quiet. See, look here, five day forecast showing snow right down through Wyoming and into Colorado, higher elevations. And that's to somebody who decided to comment on one of my comments as well here, big system. Look forward to the daily do. But yeah, somebody made a comment to one of my comments on uh, Adapt 2030's video this morning. I said, snow expected here in Alberta. And he said, Alberta, Albertans are so full of crap, he said. Well, would you look at this? Five day forecast, 10 day forecast showing 12 centimeters of snow throughout parts of Alberta. And pretty cool temperatures just west of Calgary here as well. Higher elevations, watch for flurries. 18 centimeters of snow, higher elevations. It's going to be a long and cold and snowy winter. And according to the Farmer's Almanac for Canada, they agree with me. And I've been talking about it for a while, watching this snow fall all the way down into Colorado. 10 day forecast, just saying. Still looking at heavy, heavy amounts of snow falling throughout parts of Argentina. And still looking at a lot of snow falling throughout parts of New Zealand as well. As the Southern Hemisphere is about to go beast mode. Stay aware and prepared, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please share the Canadian Farmer's Almanac Winter Forecast 2020. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can share your videos of extreme weather and get into the compilation of week 34. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.